Welcome to Newswatch 12 Weekends. I'm Kyle Pzorski. We start locally tonight in Merrill, where the annual Lincoln County June Dairy Month breakfast took place at the Smith Recreation Center. Dairy enthusiasts made their way to Lincoln County to celebrate all things dairy, featuring horse-drawn wagon rides, a petting zoo, live music, and food for all to enjoy. Newswatch Hall's Muhammad Abdul Kawi has this report from Merrill. As many know, June is Dairy Month in Wisconsin, celebrating all things cheese, milk, and yogurt. In Merrill, hundreds of people showed up to celebrate the dairy industry. We also like to invite the public and have them experience a little bit of the farm here at the breakfast. Mary Subnowski is the coordinator for the Lincoln County June Dairy Month Breakfast. And she says there's activities for everyone. We try to make this a family event, and so we have, yes, we have um, some farm machinery here. We have a petting zoo. We have um, a cow with some calves here. We have some activities inside for the families as well. It's always good to learn new things. They say events like these can make people learn a thing or two. The June Dairy Breakfast today is an important event um, for us in the egg industry because it brings awareness it educates we help educate people half of the proceeds made at the lincoln county june dairy month breakfast will go to graduating seniors one through the ffa alumni they um, give out a, the high school scholarship and then lincoln county farm bureau also does a, a scholarship for the high school seniors reporting in merrill muhammad abdul kawi news watch 12. A bipartisan group of senators has reached an agreement on a set of per proposals to reduce gun violence according to sources familiar with congressional issues. The agreement comes as the nation continues to mourn the lives lost in mass shootings from Uvalde, Texas to Buffalo, New York. Senators Chris Murphy, Kristen Simina, John Cornyn and Tom Tillis were amongst the members of the bipartisan group. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer released a statement on the bipartisan gun safety framework, calling it a, quote, good first step to ending the persistent inaction to the gun violence epidemic. The legislation is aimed at limiting the ability of potential mass shooters and to uh, quickly obtain assault rifles, while also establishing an enhanced background check process. Russian troops withdrew from Kyiv weeks ago, but they have left devastation and horror in the wake. A new report shows that hundreds have signed up to join more than a dozen cleanup operations across Kyiv suburbs. These volunteers are working to recover what was lost and make what's new again from the dismantled rubble, some coming from the U.S. to aid in that effort. The building that we're in now has been bombed by the Russians, and this has to be covered by the homeowners themselves. So by all these people coming out and helping, it's really helping to jumpstart that process. When Russian forces barreled through Kyiv, they fired wildly at apartment blocks in their path, with those rounds setting many buildings ablaze. They say all the recovery efforts are completed up to the communities affected. Millions of bottles of baby formula were shipped to the U.S. yesterday as part of President Biden's Operation Formula mission. A flight carrying 85,000 tins of infant formula were shipped from Australia to Los Angeles. Suppliers say this will be enough to fill more than 2 million bottles and will be in stores in Southern California in the next few days. For months, parents across the U.S. have been struggling to get their hands on baby formula due to a shortage, first triggered by supply chain issues and the closure of a major U.S. formula plant. Women are not only faced with baby formula shortages, but now tampons are in short supply across the country. Reports of shortages in feminine hygiene products have been circulating, with tampons especially becoming difficult to find. The brand being missed the most on store shelves is Tampax. Manufacturer Procter & Gamble released a statement acknowledging that some consumers may currently be unable to, quote, find what they need. According to a spokesperson, the company is working with retailers and producing tampons around the clock to make sure shelves don't remain empty. Experts say rising prices of raw materials like cotton are part of the reason for the shortage and a spike in tampon and pad prices. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now for a first glance at the forecast. Jeff, what should we be looking forward to? Yeah, hey Kyle, 15 hours and 39 minutes of daylight today, but temperatures did not care. Below average temperatures today, but we're going to work on that. We could do upper 80s to low 90s on Tuesday. Right now, though, not so much. We're hanging out in the upper 50s to low 60s across the region. Uh, slow to fall off tonight because it's getting increasingly more humid, and there are some clouds now not too far 
away. Lots of clear skies across our region earlier, but now there is something off to the west of us. That is our next weather system. This is headed this way, which means tomorrow we have a round of showers coming through with a couple thunderstorms in there as well, mostly across central Wisconsin, but still any of us are fair game for a couple showers and storms tomorrow. Locally, probably non-severe, but there could be some heavy rain in there through the afternoon. Our forecast then tonight, though, is increasing clouds and not so cold with low temperatures down near 49. Your full forecast coming up. Kyle. Thanks, Jeff. The Lincoln County Rodeo Association entered into their 33rd season of professional rodeo this weekend with their mission to provide quality family entertainment and promote the sport of professional rodeo. Sunday was the last day of the three-day event in Merrill where cowboys and cowgirls from across the country competed to showcase their talents. A large crowd was in attendance enjoying all things from bull riding to bucking horses. President Joe Biden was in New Mexico yesterday being briefed on the ongoing wildfires in the southwestern state. Before landing in Albuquerque, the massive wildfires could be seen from Air Force One. The wildfires have now burned more than 300,000 acres at this time, making it the largest fire in the state's history. In the briefing, the New Mexico governor confirmed that the fire was started by a controlled burn. President Biden says the federal government is committed to helping the people of New Mexico throughout the entire emergency. Former Alaska governor and vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin took a step toward a political comeback on Saturday. Polls have projected that Palin finished in the top four of a 48-person special primary election in Alaska, and it has advanced the August general election. The campaign is to fill the House seat by the late Representative Don Young, who passed away in March. And this past week, the January 6th committee revealed new footage of the Capitol riot and testimony to make the case that the deadly attack was the direct result of then-President Donald Trump's attempts to cling to power. The hearing played out on primetime television with hundreds gathered just feet from the Capitol building. The committee's next hearing will be tomorrow at 9 a.m. In Madison, the University of Wisconsin System Board of Regents has approved freezing tuition for in-state undergraduate students again this year. The regents approved the freeze as part of the system's annual budget. System President Jay Rothman said $25 million in federal pandemic relief funds will offset the freeze. In-state undergraduate tuition has remained flat for the last nine years since Republican legislators imposed the freeze in 2013. The nationwide average price for a gallon of gas hit $5 for the first time ever. That's according to AAA, who said on Saturday that the national average price jumped 19 cents in the past week and is up $1.93 from this time last year. There are several reasons for the surge in gas prices. Demand is up and global oil prices are rising, compounded by sanctions against Russia. Additionally, refining capacity is limited in the U.S. due to shutdowns during the pandemic. Using a sponge might not be the best way to clean your dirty dishes. In a new study, researchers at a Norwegian Food Research Institute say kitchen sponges hold on to way more bacteria than a kitchen brush does. Researchers say a single sponge can harbor as much, a much larger number of bacteria than there are even people on Earth. This happens because the sponge stays wet and humid and it collects food residue, which results in an environment for bacteria to grow. Scientists say it really doesn't matter how often you clean the sponge, bacterial growth is just hard to avoid on a wet sponge. They say brushes are much better because they dry out and the bacteria dies. Coming up, some news you can use, including how the Rhinelander mayor says major stakeholders within the city are completely behind building a skate park. That and more after weather when we come back. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high-quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. Get everything you need to take care of your lawn and garden right now at Menards. The Suncast Hideaway Hose Reel holds up to 100 feet of 5 8 inch hose and can be easily wound. Only $29.99 after 11% rebate. Flexilla Premium Garden Hoses are built to lie flat and won't kink under pressure. Get 11% off all durable and lightweight Flexilla Garden Hoses. Get 11% off everything right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Get the Planet Fitness Black Card, our most popular membership for zero enrollment and only $24.99 a month. With access to 2,000 plus locations, 
Bring a friend every time you visit. I love friends. And relaxing massage chairs. Mmm, that makes me so happy. <laughs> the PF Black Card is your ticket to all the perks. Look at that glow. Oh, it's all natural. It's this place, I tell you. So get glowing and feel fantacular for zero enrollment and only $24.99 a month. Deal ends Wednesday, June 15th. The challenges we face today feel monumental. Inflation, gas prices, and now an unthinkable threat to a woman's right to choose. I'm Alex Lazary, and I have a track record of getting things done. That's how you know I'll work for you. By lowering prescription drug prices, putting more money into people's pockets, and protecting every woman's right to choose, no matter what. This is why we must defeat Ron Johnson and start meeting our challenges head on. That's why I approve this message. Welcome back, my friends. A couple of thunderstorms tomorrow before we crank up the heat on Tuesday. We're talking near record high temperatures on Tuesday and Wednesday. Today, though, lots of sunshine out there, but still a bit cool. The average high being 75. Most of us did low 70s across the region today with 15 hours and 39 minutes of daylight. Of course, that changes on June 21st. High temperatures today, 72 here in Rhinelander. 67, though, for Anago. 74 with Paca, so it was comfortable but below average today. The average high again being 75, the average low being 50, that record low 31 back in 1927, and the sun set earlier at 847. So going forward, here we go. We're going to look at temperatures right now near 60 still in Rhinelander. 63 with Paca, 61 for Mosinee. These will be slow to fall off tonight as we have some clouds entering the picture and it's getting increasingly humid out there as well. But hold on, it's going to get hot around here. 73 tomorrow and then 80 88 is my forecast of high temperature on Tuesday. There are many places in central Wisconsin on Tuesday that could easily do mid 90s for high temperatures. All right, 85 for Wednesday, 82 for Thursday, and then kind of hanging out in the 80s through the weekend and humid 80s at that. In fact, here are dew points, right? So kind of dry air out there now, but by tomorrow increasing. And these are dew points in the 60s. When you get that on the muggy meter, that's pretty much humid air out there, right? So you have heat, you have humidity. Uh, your body has to catch up with that stuff, so take it easy out there, especially Tuesday to Wednesday with high temperatures back in the 80s. If you need to cool off, here's a current look at the Lake Superior surface water temperature. So in the coastal areas, right, right on shore there, 48 degrees, but off in the sea, out in the lake, right, temperatures are at 37 degrees. That is refreshing, right, or just cold. All right, so going forward, so tomorrow, severe weather threat. It's pretty much near zero out there tonight. It's a well off to the west of us, but by tomorrow, Tomorrow, it's going to be hanging out across parts of central Wisconsin and southern Wisconsin with a band of thunderstorms there. The Northwoods, you're looking just fine for tomorrow, except for a couple showers that could give us a few heavier downpours through the afternoon. Speaking of heavier downpours, here they are now across the west. This whole mess is moving our direction for tomorrow. We'll get several rounds of showers and storms out there. Again, the heaviest weather tomorrow will be across southern Wisconsin from, say, Highway 64 north, looking pretty good. Just some heavier downpours out there tomorrow. Our forecast then tonight, though, is partly cloudy skies, or we'll call it increasing clouds later on tonight, with low temperatures down near 49 and a southeast breeze around 5 for tomorrow. All right, so scattered showers and storms, many dry hours in there as well. Heavy rain is possible, severe weather threats low except for southern Wisconsin tomorrow with high temperatures, rain cooled near 73 and that east breeze around 5. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows tomorrow looking at highs near 73, that round of showers and storms. Tuesday, we're going to crank up the heat, crank up your air conditioner as well. Uh, high of 88, but again, a few 90s are likely now on Tuesday. Wednesday, a chance for a few storms out there again. Those could be squirrely, a couple of strong ones on Wednesday into Wednesday. Wednesday night and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're dry with temperatures hanging out in the 80s. Kyle. Thanks, Jeff. Some news you can use now coming up this week in Anago. There will be some free car seat fitting. Parents are encouraged to go to the Anago Fire Department between 4 and 6 p.m. on Wednesday, where seat technicians will be on hand to assist in installing car seats. Again, that is Wednesday at the Anago Fire Department between 4 and 6 p.m. The city of Rhinelander government held an informal ceremony in downtown at a potential site for a community skate park yesterday. On Saturday, Mayor Chris Hannes remarked that the major stakeholders within the city, including the fire and police departments, are all, quote, 100% behind making a skate park. 
This comes after months of hard work by a youth skate group called Over It. Uh, the hope would be next spring to start groundbreaking somewhere, and then hopefully by the following spring, we would have the product finished. Recently, the Rhinelander Common Council approved $75,000 to put towards building the park. The proposed site and location of Saturday's ceremony was located behind the Masonic Lodge at 23 East Davenport Street in Rhinelander. However, the mayor went on to say planning through the feasibility study will determine if the site is chosen or not. This next weekend, the Monaco Antique Classic Boat Show returns to a new location moving to Torpy Park. Throughout Friday and Saturday, the public is invited to check out all the water sport vintage on display. It will be open Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday 10 to 8. Yesterday in Rhinelander, friends and family gathered to have fun, but even though it rained, that didn't stop them from having a good time. The Rhinelander Car Show, Bikes and Burgers, and Art Fair are now known collectively as Motors and Makers, which took place throughout the downtown. These events traditionally happen on the second Saturday of June each year, but this year they combined efforts to hold a sort of downtown festival. The Rhinelander Area Chamber of Commerce Director Lauren Sackett said holding all three events together is a big economic driver for the city. When we come back, some sports highlights from around the state. Stick with us. You're watching Newswatch 12. Nobody has more used trucks all on one lot, all price to move. So when you're ready to buy your next truck, know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all price to move. We got the trucks at Lens Truck. The White Oak Grill at Chippewa Retreat Resort is open this summer, Wednesday through Friday, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Our casual menu has quick, delicious food made from scratch. No reservations needed. Come on in and sip your favorite libation and enjoy grass-fed steak and steak burgers from the Great Wisconsin Steak Company. For our menu and ordering carryout, text White Oak to 33733. White Oak Grill on Deer Park Road in Manitowish Waters on the eastern shore of Lake Manitowish. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's grand opening sale and receive massive savings along with free carpet installation. Take advantage of grand opening savings at the brand new Eagle River Store and all existing locations. Come see why builders and designers only choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. And receive huge savings at the Carpet City Flooring Center grand opening sale. Our prices will flow. Mark your calendars June 17th, 18th, and 19th for St. Paul's Lutheran Church's party on P and Pine River, the area's best summertime family-friendly event. Start Friday evening with Metz's Fish Fry with music by Carl Jackson. Saturday, come join the Beanbag Tournament with afternoon music by KT Country till 7, followed by Virginia Steel till 11. Sunday begins our annual Polka Church service with the GB Polka Band, followed by our world-famous barbecue chicken dinner. Follow us on Facebook or on PartyOnP.com. Watch 12 starts now. The Brewers got their first win in nine games today against the Washington Nationals with their struggle to win for the eighth game stretch coming to an end. It would be a slow game until the third when Willie Adamas hits a double into left field, which scores Tyrone Taylor, putting Milwaukee up 1-0. Adamas' bat was on fire today, though, getting his 11th home run of the year in the fifth, scoring Christian Yelich in the process, making it 3-0. The Nationals would manage to put up one run later in the fifth, but the Brewers held on to the lead, winning 4-1 to one after an Andrew McCutcheon homer in the ninth. The Donald Driver Charity softball game took place in Green Bay today. Our own Matt Weaver was there and has this report. A Wisconsin Summer Classic returned to the Fox City Stadium this year. The Donald Driver Charity softball game had a new format, Legends versus Stars. These are the same guys we were walking down the hallway and seeing their names on the wall. The new format gave the current players a chance to interact with the players they looked up to when they were young. These guys that have, have been legends for the Packers, um, there's a lot to learn for our guys from these guys. And just to get everybody, you know, in this type of setting to connect with one another, I think is, is special. Familiar names and new ones from the draft joined the competition. Team captain Aaron Jones was excited to interact with them on the ball field. 
Well, this, this is one of the things that helps build chemistry. You got all the guys coming out here competing against, like you said, the legends in a friendly game, and it's good to see the legends. You know, that's where the history starts with those guys. The other dugout was filled with pro bowlers, MVPs, and Super Bowl champions, including Packers legend Brett Favre, who started the Classic before Donald Driver took it over. I picked up a phone, made a phone call, and he made it work. I told him, I said, you, you created this, so you might as well come back and support me one more time. There was plenty of trash talk, and it was a good time for fans and players alike. 7,000, over 7,000 fans here. They sold it out, so I think that speaks a lot to how they support us. A swing and a miss. Two of the players swinging for the fences made it over. A close win for the current Packers, but the veterans left it all out there. It's always good to see the young guys, man. I wish we would have beat their butt, man, so we'd have some bragging rights, you know what I mean? Shoot, we haven't had this in a couple of years. What's up, man? What you saying? What you saying? I, I'm saying you still look like you got some ball left in you. <laughs> hey, just if I come back, just know that he signed me. Just want y'all to know. Breaking news, huh? <laughs> With the help of the Green and Gold Faithful, the Donald Driver Foundation was able to donate the proceeds to a good cause, helping the underprivileged within the state. If we continue to impact the lives right here in the state of Wisconsin, then uh, we've done our job. With the big win for the youngsters, James Jones is now going to have to make good on the Reese's and Snickers bets he placed beforehand. That's a wrap on our coverage here. Reporting for Newswatch 12 from the Fox City Stadium in Appleton, I'm Matt Weaver. Thanks for that, Matt. The final score was 4-3. to three. The Vets hope they can come back next year to retake the bragging rights. On Friday, Game 4 of the NBA Finals took place with where the Boston Celtics hoped to extend their Sears lead over the Golden State Warriors. However, Steph Curry said nope, scoring a high of 43 points to lead the water Warriors to the 107-97 win in Game 4 of the NBA Finals. This now puts the Warriors and Celtics tied at 2-2 two two on the series heading into Game 5. That game will be played tomorrow night at 8 central. That does it for sports. When we come back, some news from around the world, including the Russian rebrand of McDonald's. That's coming up after the break. Everything's so expensive, it's stretching our family thin. It never used to be like this. It's tougher on us to make ends meet because America's too dependent on China. And Ron Johnson's making it worse. He voted against cracking down on China with tougher trade deals and voted for tax breaks to corporations shipping jobs overseas and even refused to punish China when it manipulates its currency. And Ron Johnson even defended shipping American jobs overseas. Senator Johnson, stop making it easier on China and tougher on us. This is how I cook, so. I'm a big fan of your food. Thank mm -hmm. you. It smells so good. Oh. Mix and match a cheeseburger, McChicken, or four-piece chicken McNuggets. Get any two for $3. Been daydreaming of campfires or time on the water? Start your summer plans by joining Shoulders RV and Marine at their Better Late Than Never 27th Annual Open House, Thursday, June 16th through Saturday, June 18th. They have over 200 total available boats and campers. Shop the best deals on the best brands at the biggest RV and Marine dealer in the Northwoods. The Better Late Than Never 27th Annual Open House, Thursday, June 16th through Saturday, June 18th at Shoulders RV and Marine. And I walked right into U.S. Cellular and I said I want to choose any phone in here for free. What'd he say? He said, sure. Really nice guy. I had my pick of any phone from any brand, free. Even the newest ones. Wow. Yeah. You got the big screen? Yeah. Big storage? Yeah. Fits in your pocket? Fits in my pocket. You know, it's a big phone and that's what I wanted and I got, I got what I wanted. At U.S. Cellular, we put you first. So choose any phone free. Plus, get unlimited data for just $30 a month. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. If you've been the victim of an accident with a truck, listen carefully. Your whole future, your family's future, is on the line. I knew I only had one opportunity to get this right. Call a truck accident lawyer with the experience and resources you need. The initial offer from the insurance company was $100. Hupe and Abraham were able to get me much more than I expected. It was a huge settlement. Call Hupe and Abraham right now. Tell the insurance company you mean business. When the owners of Kelk Land Improvement and Kelk Septic Service of Woodruff want the forecast for the Northwoods, they go to WJFW.com and check their hometown weather. Available 24-7 at WJFW.com. 
Russia now has its own version of McDonald's. It comes under a different name, though, translated to Tasty, and that's it. Yeah, that's the name. It also has a different logo with what is supposed to symbolize fries and a hamburger. Other than that, a lot of things are actually very similar to McDonald's. However, there is no Big Mac or Happy Meal. I'm a Big Mac kind of guy myself, so that's unfortunate. In May, McDonald's said they would sell their Russian operation after more than 30 years in the country after the Russians' war in Ukraine sparked sanctions by Western countries. Astra launched NASA's mission from Florida today, but it failed to reach orbit. This launch would have been the first of three flights for Astra this year to launch the Tropic satellites. However, the upper stage's engine cut out after just over seven minutes into the flight, causing a tumble, causing the science spacecraft to be lost. The Tropic satellites are meant to study the formation and evolution of hurricanes in great detail by allowing researchers to monitor the development of tropical cyclones nearly every hour. Back here at home, the city of Rhinelander is making progress on a new stage at Hodeg Park. Groundwork was broken in early May with the stage being a result of a successful capital campaign. The goal is to hold concerts and other festivities at the park once it's complete. Before the break, now time to look at what to expect this week in the world of business news. CNBC's Kelly Evans gives us this preview. A big Fed meeting, earnings from Kroger, and an auction to have lunch with Warren Buffett all in the week ahead. Another critical Fed policy meeting on Tuesday and Wednesday. It's all but certain a 50 basis point rate hike will be announced, and investors will be watching for commentary on how long and how fast the Fed will keep hiking rates to combat inflation. Kroger earnings are due out on Thursday. Food companies have been raising prices, but keep an eye on the supermarket company's margins to see if all those price hikes are being passed on to consumers. And bidding on eBay opens for lunch with legendary investor Warren Buffett. The annual charity auction supports San Francisco's Glide Foundation. It's the first time in three years the event is taking place because of the pandemic. The most recent winner paid more than $4.5 million to have lunch with Mr. Buffett at New York City's famed Smith & Wollin Steakhouse. The annual tradition began in 2000, but Glide says this year's auction will be the final one. And on Friday, Disney's Pixar releases Lightyear, a spinoff from the popular Toy Story franchise. The film tells the backstory of the fictional human Buzz Lightyear, who inspired the famous astronaut toy that appears in the Toy Story movies. It's Pixar's first film in more than three years to be released exclusively in movie theaters. I'm Kelly Evans. Get all your business news on CNBC. The increasing cost of inflation is impacting people and families here in central Wisconsin. The D.C. liberal spending has triggered historic inflation. Senator Ron Johnson is holding the line. Retirees on a fixed income, uh, the working poor, those are exactly the people that are hurt most by inflation. Inflation is a tax on everybody. Johnson voted against the reckless spending and he's fighting to cut the waste in Washington. Tell Senator Johnson, keep fighting to stop the spending that hits us with the inflation tax. Here's why it's smart to custom order your Ford SUV. Because custom orders receive priority. You'll get an extra 1,000 order bonus plus incentive protection, guaranteeing you the best offer now or at delivery. And the features you choose. Want an EPA estimated 41 combined MPG in an Escape Hybrid? A 12-inch touchscreen in an Edge? You got it. Choose FlexBuy on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months plus 1,000 retail order cash. Grab your passport because this week we'll show you the world. You're going to the Netherlands, Belgium, and France. Go on an adventure with Pat and Vanna as they discover new heights in Switzerland. We have the Matterhorn behind us. Explore the bustling city of Lisbon. We're going to run around and meet some Portuguese. And kick back in the UK. Sometimes we must take a break, and a pub is the best place to do it, don't you think? I agree. This week on Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, weeknights at 6.30 on NBC12. Quicksilver Sports and Entertainment brings live pro boxing to Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. General admission tickets are just $25. Go ringside for just $45. Meet the fighters at weigh-ins on June 24th. Then, on Saturday, June 25th, eight bouts of non-stop action. And don't miss a special appearance by four-time world champion Virgil Quicksilver Hill. This ain't pay-per-view. It's live pro boxing, Saturday, June 25th, only at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Welding to fabrication. 
to industrial and electromechanics. All of Nicolet College's manufacturing programs are now under one roof, giving you better training, education, and technical expertise to help you land the career you want. Nicolet College. The future of manufacturing is here. The Bear Cupboard Run, June 25th in Minocqua. Half Marathon, 5K Run Walk, and Kids Cubby Run. Register online at bearcupboardrun.org. And welcome back. Well, Jeff, did you enjoy your weekend? I think I had a good one. Yeah, a busy weekend. Got a lot done. Of course, work today. Uh, you know, it was one of those days today, too, temperature-wise. Low 70s. Felt good, but that's not what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be mid, even upper 70s. Uh, and then we're going to get there, though, in a major way beginning on Tuesday. Now, here's the problem. On Tuesday, there's going to be some parts of the area that's going to have high temperatures in the low to mid-90s with about 70 per, you know, degree dew points. That's going to make feel like temperatures approach 100 across central Wisconsin on Tuesday. We don't do that very often, so be ready for that. Get your air conditioner ready for it to go. Also, your fans as well. Out there right now, though, it's 60 in Rhinelander, 55 for Anigo, 59 for Green Bay. So it's comfortable outside. A pretty good weekend weather-wise, right? After those rain showers on Saturday, we cleared things out today. That's not going to last, though. So tonight we have increasing clouds. No rain tonight, but the rain is over here. Uh, that will be in our backyards tomorrow with a couple of rounds of showers and storms. Not in all day rain. Many of us will have many dry hours tomorrow as well, but locally heavy rainfall is now likely across parts of southern Wisconsin and even into central Wisconsin, Portage County tomorrow. Uh, before that though, we're going to crank up the heat then. Look what happens on Tuesday. I have a high of 88, but again, that's for the Northwoods. Places in central Wisconsin could easily do mid 90s. Places like Stevens Point on Tuesday afternoon. Well, perfect. Thank you for that, Jeff. Thank you for watching. Have a great night, everyone.